All right, so now we've been able to at least create a task to the database and we're reading the tasks that exist in the database. But before we go very far, before we proceed very far, there's something we need to take note of. And that is the concept of separation of concerns. It's a programming concept that as a backend developer, you must always pay attention to, to make your application scalable and, you know, in bits and pieces. So now, instead of having all of our routes and you know the functions that they perform inside of this server js folder the server js folder is going to get very big over time if we continue like this so what we are going to do is we're going to separate this route into its own special folder so i'm going to come here let's uh, close that up and inside of the back end i'll create another folder which i'm going to call routes plural because they're going to be more than one Inside of this routes folder, I will create another file that I'm going to call task route.js. Hit enter, and it's inside here that we're going to now trans um, move our route from the server JS to this folder or to this file rather. So, first off, there are some things you need to do, some groundwork you need to do. You're going to need express. So, here I'm just going to import express first. So where is express? This guy here. I'll copy that. I'm actually just doing this to save time, but you can type it out yourself if you want to build muscle memory. Then I'm also going to import the task. So for that, I'll just say task, which is the task model. So I've imported the task model. Yeah. Because in the server JS, remember we have express. We also have access to the task model. Then one other thing that we're going to do is we're going to define a router variable. It's a method that is attached to express. So here I'll say const router like so, and then I'll set it to be equal to express dot router. This is going to be capital letter. It's a method. So router and I'll call it like that. Now, this is how you define the router. Don't forget that this router is going to be used in the server JS, so we have to export it. So let's just come down here before we forget, and I'll just see module.exports. And that's going to be equal to router. So this guy is what we are exporting. In the middle is where I will now create our route. Okay? So now we've already created the route, so we just just need to transport it. So this is the route to create a task. So all I got to do is I just got to come here and grab it. I'll cut it from this file and come to my task route and paste it in. But instead of saying app.post, we're going to change this app to router. Okay, so I got to come here and change the app to router dot post i hope you see what's going on here let's come and grab the second route which is the get data oh it should actually be get tasks tasks like so so i'll come here and i'll cut that come to my route and just after this uh create the task route i'll just come down here and paste that in remember let's change the app to router great so now we've successfully been able to create our route and put it inside their own dedicated router file save that now we've exported this route here but we need to be able to use it inside of the server so remember we have one middleware that enables us to use different things from different places app.use so first off let's import the route so i'm gonna come here i'll say const and what am i gonna call that route well let's just call it task route because that's what it is so i'll say task routes plural and that's going to be equal to require and then i'll just specify the um file where it is so it's in dot forward slash routes then the specific file where it is is task route as simple as that so now i've imported the task route inside of my server js the only thing i need to do next is just to use this middleware to fire it off so i'll just come down here and say app 
dot use or you know what let me put it inside um let me like okay maybe i'll just use it straight so i'll just say app dot use and then i'll just point to the task route as simple as that so now if you go ahead and save this file you know what's happening here this app dot use is calling this task route so everything inside this task route is accessed from our server the js file all right so now let's go ahead and test it out so i'm going to come to my insomnia and i'll first create a task a new task so this is going to be task five we've created quite a number of tasks i'll send that and see if it works voila so you see we have task five let's test out the get all task and then i'll send that and you see we have up to task five so now what we've been able to do is we've been able to execute what is known as separation of concerns and we've separated um our route into their own special route folder all right so that's about it for this one thank you so much i'll see you in the next one all right welcome back guys now we've been able to create the task route which like further helps us to separate our code and to separate the concerns in our programming but we can even take it a step further now if you look at this task route folder let's for example let's look at this um route to create a task you'll notice that this is just a callback function in the end this is just a simple function now we can take this thing a step further this separation of concerns that we're talking about we can take it a step further and remove this function and keep it in a separate file that file is known as a controller all right so now i'll come to my back end folder and i'll create a new folder i'll call that folder controllers okay controller oh that was not spelled correctly controllers like so yeah then i'll hit enter okay then i'll create a new file inside this one i'll call it task controller con dot js hit enter now let's let's take this thing step by step so that we don't make any mistakes so i'll come to the task route and we're going to start with this function to create a task i want to separate this callback function into this task controller file for me to do that first of all i need to be able to have access to this task model because inside of this controller function inside of this function here this callback function we are using the task model so first off i'll just import the task model so let me import that then i'll create an asynchronous arrow function and i'm going to call that function create task okay now let's come back here to our task route so you see this is asynchronous and it has a request and response so let's not forget i'm going to come here and add a request and response all right then let's open this up now let's come back to our task route then inside of the body of that function we now have this try catch block so i can now confidently grab this try catch block control x to cut it and then i'll just come here and paste it in so you see now i've extracted that callback function and kept it inside this task controller file so what is a controller it's just a file where we save all of our callback functions as simple as that now bar we will now export this create task function so that it can be used anywhere in our application i'll come down here and i'll say um model dot export and that's going to be equal to now because we're going to have several callback from or several functions here i'm going to open up an object and give it key value pairs so the first one i want to export now is just this create task function i'm just going to say create task and ideally it should have a name and a value create task as well but because in es6 when you have the name and the value having the same you know spelling you can just leave one and ES6 knows that you are referring to um, name and value okay so let's go ahead and save this 
now we now come back to this task route right and remove all of this you know we are now all of this async blah 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 we've now created it here async and request response and everything so you just need to do is you need to remove everything up to this point and you just need to call that create task function instead so here i'm just going to say create task which i need to also import so i'll just auto import it so you see now and i have create task imported from controllers and task controller yeah now let's just do the same thing for the get task so that i mean it just we'll just do it in one swipe so i'm just going to create another function which i'm going to call uh, you know what let me just duplicate this guy so that i'll save some time but you can type it out to build muscle memory so this is going i'll, I'll change this to get tasks plural because i want to get all the tasks then i'll get rid of everything this try catch block i'll get rid of it and i'll come to my task route and just copy all the try catch block here in the get task route i'll cut it Control x and then i'll just paste it here Control v now let's just add comments just so that we you know are on the same track so this is create a task and then this is get all task so get all tasks okay so now we need to export this get tasks so i'll come here and say get tasks like so save this and then i'll come to my task route and of course you know we just need to clear this async blah 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 and just point to get sorry get tasks and auto import it as well so if you come here you see that we now have create task and get tasks you know funny enough i would like it to be the last thing here all right so that we can see it great um i think that's about it i'll get rid of the comments here because uh, it's not really relevant anymore so i'll just keep it side by side to keep this file neat now let's save this and let's come and test it so we've created so many tasks so the server has started i'll come here first off i would create a task and this time i'll just do task six and then i'll send voila so you see here we have task six then let's come and get all the tasks so currently we have up to task five if i send now watch what happens you see now we now have up to task six so essentially we've been able to effectively separate all the components of our code into the different you know folders where you know they can be managed we have our controllers folder we have our routes folder and we have our model folder actually this model i think model is actually fine or maybe i should have said models plural but model is fine let's just leave it like that so that we don't you know all right let me just rename it since my body is itching to rename it so i'll just come here right click and then i'll say rename and models because actually you can have more than one so there could be task model there could be users model so let's just say models and of course it will automatically change wherever this model is so you see it has changed on this uh, server here uh where is it so model so all you just need to do is just save it it has updated it has also updated here so you see we now have models plural so i'm just gonna save it then even on the task route here i'm just gonna save it and then that will just solve any problem all right so let's just make sure we are you know on the same page get all tasks i'll fire that and hopefully we don't get any error great so you see we're able to get all our tasks so that's about it for separation of concerns so in the next one we're now going to perform the remaining part of our crud operation which is to update and to delete thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one